If you eat a cashew apple and drink milk or mix it with dairy, it becomes toxic to your body and could harm you. Is this a myth or a fact? Let's find out the truth, shall we? Hello there and welcome to another video on Me Plus You Is Us. And last weekend, we went on a food safari organized by the Ghana Food Movement and Jolinaiko Eco Tours with support from GIZ. how organic we classify it because we are using too much uh, pesticide we want just to have it uh, ripe for the market now what is a food safari a food safari is a culinary tourism event where participants are taking on a trip to learn about a particular food directly from where and how it's grown or sourced while learning a lot about the economic importance of the particular food and enjoying different variations of meals prepared by chefs using this food. And we had the chance to learn about a fairly unknown fruit, which is the cashew. So I shall be doing this with my correspondent, Elaine, who would be chipping in some facts and reports from time to time. Good morning, we're at a cashew nursery. And this is actually a cashew tree. Look at the beautiful leaves, very round. The cashew season is actually over, so it will be difficult to spot the fruit, but we'll go to the farm soon and then hopefully we can see it. But it's really cool to, you know, observe the trees. There's some, they just showed us how to like kind of cut the cashews in a It's called grafting. Grow. It's called grafting. Yeah. And how to do it. And they do like 300 a day which is very impressive. And it's specifically for women because I think they're good with like the precision. And the delicate, delicate image handling, yeah. You literally connect two different plants in one and then it grows into a tree like this. So these, what you see around here are all the mother trees. So these are the most like fruitful ones. <laughs> And then oh, yeah. it needs to heal, and once it's healed, you take it off, and then not at all. Not at all. the leaves will come no, back. If we, I think we should do it the most because we'll be late. And this is the yeah. actual yeah. fruit. So maybe any, anybody that so wants the fruit, the birds like it a lot. But this is what is actually just turning into the cashew. plants. Help them remove the plants oh, this is the from there. And then use this, like the passion, if it's, you can cut it off. In the past 10 years, cashew consumption in India has more than doubled, Europe has grown by 30% and China is on the rise too. Africa is the only continent that has the opportunity to supply this demand by increasing yields and investing in processing. Cashew trees were originally brought to most countries in Africa to retain soil in dry areas. They are suitable for poor dry lands and can withstand drought. We are in the cashew farm. So this is actually how it grows. So first the kernel matures and then the apple will grow bigger. Yeah. You can only pick it once it falls down. And here you see different stages of it. But these are very fresh. It takes 120 days for the apple to fully grow. You went through that in how many minutes? <laughs> Lots of minutes. <laughs> It usually takes about three to four years for the cashew tree to mature and have the best yield and harvest is between December and February. So for most farmers, while the dry season is in full swing, cashew provides them with some income. The region in Ghana which grows the most or produces the largest amount of cashew is the Bono and Ahafu region. and they actually need the bees so they need more bees in order to pollu pollinate 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 
the trees. So once these are up and running, so you see one here and one over there, then he says it can triple like yeah, yield. the yield. So the bees are coming and then this will blow up. So many cashews are coming in Ghana. Hey! We stopped at the First Star Chalets in Adar to have our cashew-rich lunch and on the menu was cashew apple juice, cashew apple aubergine spread, cashew apple burger, and so much more. Africa accounts for 53% of global cashew production, but less than 10% of global processing. Through local processing, there is a value addition potential of $2.8 billion every year and a potential employment of 275,000 people in the processing plants. So we're at the last stop now. We're going to taste some cashew gin. We're at the Ghana Free Zone area at the CWT and they store a lot of cashew and they know exactly how to treat it. So let's see. Follow me. We are into coffee, we are into sesame, we are into cashew. We also into we came into cashew in 2012. Erasima at one of these big companies in Brazil. Research conducted by the Madras Diabetes Research Center in October 2015 found that taking 30 grams of cashew kernels per day over a three-month period can increase good cholesterol levels. This can help reduce the risk of heart disease. Cashew contains a high amount of vital minerals such as phosphorus, which builds bones and teeth, magnesium which promotes energy release and bone growth. Contrary to widely accepted myth, studies have shown that eating cashew apples with milk or mixing the two is not toxic and would not cause any health problems. In fact, there is a popular Jamaican cashew apple juice recipe that combines cashew apple juice with condensed milk. Try some cashew cheese. It smells... I don't know. Try it. Cashew Very creamy, but sour. Yeah, no, I'm not sure if I really like it. It's very different. So I'm gonna try some cashew brandy. Wow, it's really strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's nice. It's not really sour like the like the cheese. I could drink this, but maybe with the coke, not like raw after <laughs> a long day. So there is no excuse to be deprived of the health benefits of the tasty and healthy cashew apple and the very nutritious cashew nuts. watching this vlog and we'll catch you in the next one thank you for watching